kicks it off, mate. Yeah, Lee, to Jimmy's point a moment ago, Team Penske working so well together. Ryan Blaney and Joey Logano, they got a playoff point in the bank for Logano. Paul Wolf asked him, do you want me to change anything? Logano said, don't touch it. Meanwhile, Kyle Larson said the car is good with a funny quote. He said, I'm just trying to stay out of the way and not get taken out here. Well, Marty, for the 12th car of Ryan Blaney, he's reporting still tight. It won't go anywhere. Told his team I need quite a bit more of the last adjustment. Jonathan Haslam is the team saying they'll wait a little bit on fuel, Dave. Jim, you never know what an extra lap of fuel might do you some good here at Daytona. Driver Brad Keselowski asked, maybe we should stay and just pit with one to go. That's what they're going to do. They'll lose all their track position, but they'll have one lap better fuel than the field. So when we talk about the value of fuel, he's going to go from the first car or nearly the first car in the field, all the way to the back, just to get just one more lap of fuel. Hey, pace car, let's go. And have a listen, stage three, let's do it. Are you ready to go? Letting us inside their world as Michael McDowell leads the field down the back, back stretch into three. It's amazing the work they do with those binoculars, right? It's one thing to say it works good down the back stretch, but then here, off from turn four, coming below the grandstands, they have to move the binoculars, refocus, find their car, and then pick them back up as they go away. Remember, from the start finish line into turn one, if we look, they're driving away from the spotters. So depth perception, very, very difficult in their turn one to try to decide they can be clear left or right, but just a few inches. before race, but sometimes those sort of hacks that we see just sort of happen from who you work best with within the race. That's exactly what they were trying to do with McDowell to show him that they could be a pusher. Yeah, Parker, you have a plan when you go into this race, but you don't, just have no idea. You could have a teammate, and for some reason your cars don't line up well, you can't push that guy. You have to make those decisions on the fly. The 2021 Daytona 500 leads, the uh, winner leads the way. And he was so close at Talladega this year as well, Michael McDowell. I like how Justin Hoey and Barry is in there. Thank you very much. Sandra is also Daytona 500. He's Kyle Bush. We started this stage, taking you inside the world. The top five has three Daytona 500. Richard Childress Racing. Let's take you back there now Four and have a listen. Six. I think you've got a little bit of that. I didn't have to get out of the park. I'm scared that broke up the 22 to 12.
Hitsky teammates still on the bottom of the racetrack. Joey Logano pushing Cindric. It's Ford heavy at the front, and that was emblematic of what went down in qualifying. The speed of the Blue Oval cars are impressive here at the World Center of Racing. They hold down the top six spots right now.